Now imagine needing a prescription drug to save your life, only to be told that there was a shortage of it. That's what happened to one Bay Area mom and her daughter who was diagnosed with cancer. She spoke with our Vanessa Araza saying a mother's love knows no ends, and it's that tenacity that's helping other families around the world. This is how an 11 year old should spend their days. Not a care in the world, lounging in the pool. But this is how Abby Bray spent a lot of her time when she was just nine. She was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. That was really tough for me as caretaker to my child when she asked me, you know, am I gonna die because I don't get my medicine? Laura Bray is Abby's mom. She was told two of the three prescription drugs her daughter needed were under a shortage and basically to move on. That is not how it works for a mom whose daughter is fighting cancer. So she got to work using her knowledge as a business professor to help lead the way. The knowledge that I had in supply chain is what I used to help find the drugs for my daughter. She found them, but knew there were so many other families just like hers. Thus was born Angels for Change, a nonprofit that helps families find the drugs in short supply that they need. Families like Laura Davis in Pennsylvania. We needed quite a few vials of the medication, over a hundred, and we didn't know if we were going to find it, but she really did. She found all of them. Her 15-year-old son, Cole, was diagnosed with a form of leukemia out of the blue. A pharmaceutical company connected the two moms, and today, Cole has the medication he needs and will return to school next week. I believe in the goodness of people. I believe in the power of people working together when called into action to solve problems. Bray says a majority of the time, it's all about connecting the supply chain with the people. She says a pharmaceutical drug shortage could be as minute as the wrong phone number in the ordering process. Now, she does this solely on volunteer basis, and this is self-funded. To date, about a year and a half in, she has helped 50 families across the world. If you are interested in her organization, go ahead and head to this article on our website, abcactionnews.com. In Tampa, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.